Yo what's going on everyone and today is the day that we got the Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer reveal trailer which was has been revealed at E3 which is the biggest gaming convention in the entire world that we get every single year where game developers all come together and basically reveal their games, uh, show off some of the designs and gameplay etc. I do apologise if this video is a little bit scrappy, it is quarter past four in the morning, it was only around an hour ago that we did get the reveal. Uh, I wanted to get this out as quickly as possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the trailer now. So I hope you all enjoy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to break down um, some things within the trailer uh, that has been spoken uh, about by some of the developers of the game. So enjoy the trailer guys. now and get access to the private beta. Okay, well I hope you all enjoyed the video guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through this video very slowly and just basically go through everything. I'm going to stop at certain points of the video and talk about certain things within the within the actual trailer itself. I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be covering this and I wanted to be one of the first people to do so. Um, so I am going to be confirming a couple of things in this trailer that have been that has been confirmed by the actual developers of the game during an interview at E3. Um, so I'm just going to start the, the trailer now guys. As you can see there's no sound to it at the moment. Okay, so Activision presents. Love one looking sniper there. Okay, so there is. Th this is definitely the M1 Garand, as you can see when he reloads. Definitely the M1 Garand. Okay, so I have got a couple of things on here that I don't want to talk about. This game, game does look very gory, so as you can see there, there's definitely a bayonetta. That is definitely, definitely a bayonetta that he's got on the, he in the end of his gun. And that was really painful, like, ow, like, really. Look at all the wood on his hand and everything. That, I think that is the M1 Garand that it's on the front of. So it looks like it, it's going to be on the end of his gun. I'm not sure if it's going to be something 
within the division that you can I know that you're gonna be able to customize them um, so I'm thinking that's gonna be on the assault I'm not sure if it's gonna be available not available in all classes um, but just carrying on with the video so that there's definitely a bayonet in this game which you can understand with it being World War 2 they were they were pretty prolific in that sort of time as you can see the the enemy wearing a gas mask there as well um, so next up we've got the flamethrower really glad that the flamethrower is coming back it looks really epic it, just the amount of people it's taking down so we've got another gun here uh, the maps do look really epic I know, uh, I know that they did give the names of the actual the names of the maps I'm not 100% sure on what the names of the maps are <coughs> Okay, so that's um, uh, an awesome grenade kill. Look at his leg as well. Um, so we're, I'm I'm thinking that this is maybe going to be the start of uh, of a game, like the, the start of the actual multiplayer game when you get dropped in there. So here we got a pump action shotgun. Looks really really cool. I think that's the one from one of the zombies maps in Black Ops 3. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, so it looks like we've got the rocket launcher. Uh, and the, well, the rockets, should I say, on this guy's back. It looks like he's carrying carrying an LMG as well. I'm sorry if it all sounds really scrappy, guys. It is really early in the morning. I've had no sleep. Um, so let's carry on with this. Yeah, wicked kill with that with that shotgun from there. Okay, so this is one thing that I want to touch on. This is a kill streak, uh, a score streak, should I say? The name of the score streak, which was actually confirmed by the developers, is co it's called P47 Score Streak. I'm not I'm not 100% sure what it does from this from this trailer from from this part, but it's been confirmed as the P47 Score Streak. There is another another score streak in here as well, which has also been confirmed. It's definitely got the STG there as well in his hand. Okay, I think this is the one. Yeah, okay, so this has been... No, I don't think that is the one, actually. I don't think that is the one that, that got confirmed. I think... Which one is it? I'm not 100% sure. There is another kill streak in here, so the, the sniper looking really epic there. This is the one. Okay, this is called the Glide Bomb score streak. Looks really, really epic. Just how you see it dropping down onto the map there. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I don't want to talk about that have been confirmed just while the trailer is running in the background. Um, so as you can see the tank here, so I don't think they wanted to give away the wrong impression when it comes to the tank. The tank's not, as far as I know, I don't think the, tr the, the tank's going to be drivable. I don't think it's going to be a vehicle within multiplayer. I know that it is going to be part of a game mode, which is called which is called War Mode, which has already been confirmed. And basically, you've got to escort the tank from one side of the map to the other. So I'm taking that this is a little bit like the game mode that they had in in Advanced Warfare. I can't remember the name of the the game type. But it's where you have to escort the robot from one side of the map to the other. So I'm taking it that they've gone for the more uh, World War II theme, but kept the actual game mode and renamed the game mode as well. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on with this. Um, I do apologise, that's my phone. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with the trailer now. So okay, so there's definitely going to be tight. There's going to be tanks in the game, but they're not going to be drivable. So there you go. So we've also got. A reveal date so as we know it's going to be out on November the 3rd which is really early. I'm not sure what day that's actually on let me double check what day that's on I'm not 100% sure what date that's on what day that's on sorry okay so it's going to be on a Sunday it's going to be released on a Sunday this year okay there's a couple more things that I want to talk about now just while I can leave the video pause so a couple, um, a couple more things that have been confirmed by the developers is the most anticipated game mode which is going to be coming to Call of Duty World War 2 is Headquarters. Uh, so the developers quoted uh, that this is going to be the biggest game mode uh, this year which is going to consist of 48 players. So I think it's going to be 
I think it's going to be 24 players on each team. Now, I'm wondering what they're going to do when it comes to maps. Whether this is going to be only implemented within certain maps. Uh, because, uh, as you can imagine, 6v6 is going to be done on the smaller maps like, uh, you know, the classic Call of Duty games do. I'm taking it that these are going to be based around certain maps, like the bigger maps like Battlefield, etc. With it being, with there being more players in the game. So, just a couple more things to touch on. So, it is actually going to, so, touching on to zombies. So, the zombies is going to be, it is going to be Nazi zombies, which, is, which has been confirmed by the developers again. Um... They are going to be putting their own twist on on zombies. They, they have said that there's going to be more of a horror feel to it. I know most of you guys are probably going to be aware of this, but Sledgehammer was uh, the developers of Dead Space, uh, with that being like a horror genre set in space. A really, really, really good game. Um, so it is going to be a big storyline within zombies as well, which has also been confirmed by the developers. But that's, that's basically all I'm going to touch on, guys. That's... I hope you really have enjoyed the video. I hope it has been informative. So the, the, I know there wasn't that much within the video, um, but it's just basic stuff that's been confirmed by the developers. Okay, so that is going to be it for this video, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, then please smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace out.